Matt Pangrak here, Bassmaster Open Anglers, and over the last couple years, uh, I've really taken an affinity to finesse fishing and power fishing applications. Some people have called it dinking and dunking to catch a limit, uh, to put five in the live well and not leave anything uh, out in the lake. And I wanna talk to you a little bit about the line choices because you hear that term and you automatically think super finesse, ultra light line, and that's not necessarily the case. A lot of these are, are uh, finesse applications but used in power fishing situations. So when I'm, when I'm throwing a spinning rod, be it a, a Nico rig, a drop shot, a Ned. Uh, I typically start out with 10 pound test shooter as my leader to 12 pound SX1 braid in high vis. Uh, 10 pound test is a great all around. It's going to give you a little bit of beef to get those fish away from the cover, but also a finesse in case those fish are line shy. If I'm getting a lot of bites on 10, I will then move up to 12 on the same applications. If I get the same number of bites, I'll move up to 14. So now it's just a matter of elimination. I want the highest hook to land ratio I can get uh, without sacrificing bites. Also, if I'm not getting many bites on 10, I'll drop down to, to nine pound shooter, eight pound shooter, all the way down to seven pound shooter. So I start with 10 and then the number of bites that I'm getting based on the application that I'm using dictates whether I go up or down from there. So it's from seven all the way up to 14. And that's kind of how I choose my line for the dinking and dunking.